Iran is in a state of civil unrest. Ever since the 16th of September 2022, many Iranians have taken part in protests against the Iranian government in response to the death of Masa Amini. Masa Amini was arrested by Iran's morality police for violating Iran's mandatory hijab law. In the eyes of the Iranian government, Masa Amini was wearing her hijab improperly in Tehran, Iran's capital city. In this video, we're going to unpack Iran's civil unrest, the Masa Amini story, and what this says about the Middle East and Western culture. You're watching All Things Humanities. Masa Amini, a Kurdish woman, visited her brother in Tehran and was arrested by Iran's morality police for improperly wearing her hijab. There is debate about whether this is a product of religion or culture, and I have covered it in this video if you want to find out. Nevertheless, she was transferred to the custody of Moral Security, which is a law enforcement group in Iran, where she suffered a heart attack and also a brain seizure. There are some reports to say that Amini was tortured, with her dying in intensive care later that day. The Iranian public are of the opinion that Masa Amini was beaten horribly, and in Iran, morality is something that ought to be enforced by law, but by many Western standards, this is not the case. While all countries have some form of government, each culture differs with respect to rights that ought to be protected by law. For example, in the US Constitution, the powers of government are limited, with natural rights like freedom of religion and freedom of speech are the most important for the state to protect. The death of Masa Amini enraged the Iranian public with protests spreading quickly from Amini's hometown of Sakhez to other cities in Kurdistan. The Iranian government responded by shutting down internet access using tear gas and even gunfire to suppress the masses. This has caused even more civil unrest, leading to total anarchy in the Iranian state. The Iran protests seem like an example of a totalitarian government panic and a total loss of order for the Iranian people. It somewhat reminds me of what happened with Black Lives Matter and the death of George Floyd. However, while you cannot make a direct comparison to the two situations, there are some similarities given that the public revolted following the unjustifiable death of a citizen. This has spurred women's rights activists in promoting the overthrowing of the Islamic Republic that holds government power in Iran. The protest demonstrates how Western culture has actually infiltrated Iran and the Middle East, for these claims and progressive forms of feminism are becoming prevalent even in the Islamic world. These Western philosophies are clearly at odds with traditional Islamic teaching, and we are seeing this conflict manifest itself in the protests of Iran. You can argue that the Islamic world did give women rights to own property, but the scale of contemporary feminism is driven by Western culture. Perhaps the Iranian people have been influenced by Western media outlets like Instagram, Facebook and YouTube, where they are exposed to such ideas. Iranian women see the hijab as contrary to their free expression despite the Iranian revolution of 1979 with the establishment of the Islamic Republic and therefore Islamic law. Iranian women have been legally required to completely cover their hair in public with a hijab, and this is seen as a big problem in contemporary Iranian culture. The recognition of Islamic law was spurred by the Iranian revolution of 1979, which was premised on stopping Western influence in Iran, with Islam acting as a liberator to colonialism and the power of capitalism. Even the late Christopher Hitchens spoke about this claim, when he said that the Islamic Republic's laws were contrary to ideas of female freedom. This divide is so prevalent that some inhabitants of modern-day Iran will refer to themselves as Persians, implying that they have nothing to do with the Islamic fundamentalism following the 1979 revolution. It also symbolizes the growing moral and cultural divide between the Iranian people and the ideals of the Islamic government. It would be very difficult to imagine that the Islamic government of Iran would change their stance on this issue unless the civil unrest becomes so unimaginable and the public would be able to overthrow the government. This is because, in the eyes of the Muslims, the word of Allah and the teachings of Muhammad are far more important than the rules of a country. The death of hundreds of Iranians by the Iranian government demonstrates the obsession with authoritarian control and the significance of Islamic law in shaping the moral duties of the Iranians. The Masa Amini protests in Iran have even grabbed the attention of the FIFA World Cup, with men, women and children wearing t-shirts saying, Women, 
life, freedom. What's really interesting is that life and freedom are Enlightenment-inspired ideals and are even evident in the US Constitution. Once again, the cultural power of the West is prevalent in Iran and it's strong enough to create civil unrest to this level. The actions of the protesters begs deeper philosophical questions and specifically whether absolute morality is something that we can attain by reason alone. For the Iranian protesters to believe that the acts of the government are wrong, it must come from some sort of rationality or a violation of their own conscience. It also begs the question if the Iranian protesters have formed this morality through Western cultural influence or through universal moral truths that apply to all people, regardless of culture and geography. Interestingly enough, Iranian protesters are calling for help from the United States, who are looking to distance themselves from their global responsibilities. After all, Joe Biden did remove US forces from Afghanistan in August 2021, with the Taliban taking its place. The terrifying part of this protest is the possibility of the Iranian government totally opening fire at the population. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it interesting. If you did, consider subscribing and liking the video for more content like this.